Hi all, wanted to show two different ways to create a G-code file to flatten a slab or board. First one will be using uh, VCAR Pro, which you're looking at here. And we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, X dimensions of 12 inches, Y dimensions 8.75 inches, and it's one and a quarter inches deep. And we're actually making a smoothing plane here. So we're going to basically create a serpentine file to flatten this. The first thing we do is create a couple circles. And they're going to be at minus 6, minus 4 and there will be 3 eighths of an inch um, in diameter. And we'll do the next one at, at 6 and minus 4, and again 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. And then we're going to draw a line between them. And once we've got that line, we're going to uh, go ahead and cut these circles in half and throw out half of each one. And again, I mentioned serpentine, and what we're trying to do here is basically put a half arc at the end of each of the uh, each end of the line here, and then we'll go ahead and attach these to the top and the bottom of the line, and basically create like a little uh, serpentine um, path for the router bit to work to run on. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, the half arcs at the top and bottom of this line. We're going to go ahead and copy this line and move it up 3 eighths of an inch. And now we basically have the pattern that we're going to replicate. And let's go ahead and select that, get it centered. Then we'll lop off the extra ones. We basically just need a uh, one and a and a extra path after the size of the board so that the um, router bit isn't 100% uh, engaged with the board. We only want about 25% of it engaged at any time. So we have a one and a half inch router bit, and this three eighths inch offset between each path is 25% of the router bit. Okay, so now we've turned this uh, all into a single. Um, path and we're going to go ahead and use a profile tool on it and we're going to uh, cut it down by one eighth of an inch so we have a one and a quarter inch board and we need it to be one and an eighth inch thick for this smoothing plane. All right, going through some of the parameters there um, that was uh, we're going to go three uh, one hundredths of an inch deep on each pass then we're just going to name it and basically this is saying uh, 0 0.125 or 0 0.13. Alright, just doing a quick check of it, make sure it runs okay. Okay, let's go ahead and save the toolpath off now. And gotta just navigate onto my system here. Figure out where we put these in the toolpath section, spoil boards, and go ahead and create a folder for the size of this. Uh, basically spoil board 12 by 9. And since this one's being done off the material, the Z0 is off the material, I just put in a material folder. And then we'll go ahead and save the uh, file as it's named right into that folder. Okay, so that takes about five minutes to do all that. And let's go ahead and save the actual file off too while we're at it. Okay, and we're done with that. 
So an alternative way is here on my website, Windridge Woodcrafts. Go to Topics, CNC Slab Flattener, and you'll see a web form pop up here. It's in beta at the moment. This is January 6, 2021, the moment that I'm recording this. And go ahead and fill that in. There's my name, my email, company, and hit the pull down menu for your Imperial Metric. Fill out the size of your CNC. And these will come into play um, if you use some of these parameters. If they go too large, it will basically send you a warning or even an error that you can't uh, put in a slab size larger than your CNC size, that kind of thing, or if you're cutting too deep. So just to prevent you from you know hurting your CNC. All right, so the bit max cut depth is 0 0.03 inches. That's how deep the bit itself uh, will go on each pass. And for step over mode, we have either flex, which will reduce the overlap to fit the size of the board, or strict, which will keep it at whatever the overlap was set to. And we have the uh, speed of the um, spindle, or your router, whatever you're using, center, bottom left, serpentine, X or Y, basically whatever the grain direction is, is what you want to choose here. Okay, and just basically some feeds and speeds that we're putting in, plunge rate, and there's some defaults here. If you hold over the little uh, question mark there, it'll give you some of the more um, some of the variables you can use. File extension, you saw plenty of them there. DOS or Windows uh, versus Linux and Unix and Mac. Um, file case, and here you can put in comments that'll be included in the file versus comments to the webmaster, which are basically suggestions that don't uh, end up in the header of the file. Okay, and then answer a quick question and submit. And if you want to go ahead and enter another, just go ahead and hit the link. It'll take you right back to it. So go check your email and hopefully you'll have a, a message sitting in there waiting for you. Here we go. And just highlight a couple items in here. It's still in development again on January 6, 2021. And there's a comment that we mentioned, 11 inch smoothing plane blank. Uh, the links that are there, these are just in the emails. Much of this information is in the header of the file as well. Scroll on down. And you see that we have a link, which is a, uh, a link to a simulator, so you can view your file if you'd like. And we'll go ahead and show that real quick. So we're going to save the, <laughs> excuse me. So we're going to save the file off to a path here. And we'll go hit that link and then load the file up. So the first one is the one created with the uh, from the web form. You see in the simulator, you can really adjust a lot of the parameters in here. We'll just keep it pretty basic and run through it. Basically, that's all the G-code on the left-hand side, and this is simulating the uh, path on your CNC on the right-hand side. So again, this is the one created from the web form, and the next one we'll pick out will be the one that uh, was created through Vectric, VCar Pro. So our spoil board, 12 by 9 material and there's the path that we specified and you'll see that looks pretty familiar. Go ahead and run it through the demo as well just so you can take a look. So the uh, Vectric file actually includes a lot of the, um, the speed controls in the file itself. So it's a little longer, that's why it's taking a little longer to run through here. Okay, and we're all done. Now, let's go take a look at it out on the CNC itself. Thank you. 